Hey, welcome to The Monitor, the 2013 edition of The Monitor. We are back off of our hiatus during which you saw a bunch of pre-taped episodes, but it's time to talk about what's happening now. Not a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on TV because as you know, TV is my best friend. I'm just kidding. Chewbacca is my best friend. But a ton of shows starting up uh, over the coming week, so I want to highlight three networks that have some things going on. We're going to start out with Comedy Central. This coming Wednesday starts a new block with the return of Workaholics, which is, what, its fourth season now? Um, I have loved this show from Jump. It is, of course, the tale of three best friends from college who now live together, work as telemarketers, and basically drink and screw up their way to comedy gold. Um, if you have not seen this, it's on every kind of streaming outlet you can imagine. So do a little catch up on that and get ready for season four starting. But before Workaholics on Wednesday nights, we are looking at The Kroll Show. What is Kroll Show? Well, it's Nick Kroll. You might know Nick Kroll from his role as Rodney Ruxin on FX show The League. He's also been a stand-up for a very long time, and he's popped up in probably every comedy group and show you can think of. He also has the dubious distinction of playing one of the cavemen on that old ABC caveman sitcom. Remember when they licensed the caveman characters from Geico? Yeah, he was on that. But anyway, we're going to forgive him for that because he's a very, very funny guy. Um, and he's got his solo sketch show that's starting up. He's bringing in a ton of guest stars, at least in the in the premiere episode. I saw Ed Helms. I saw Adam Pally, who was on Happy Endings. Of course, he plays Max. A um, bunch of recognizable faces. Uh, also, the young woman who was the love interest in 21 Jump Street. I don't even remember her name, and I apologize for that, but she's very good. There's some... Uh, and Jenny Slate, who's been everywhere. She was on Girls. She was an old SNL alum. Point is, Nick Kroll has a lot of funny friends, and he's bringing them all along for the ride. Um, it is a middling to good premiere episode, but I have high hopes for this one, so I recommend you check that out. And of course, I co-sign Workaholics with all the might my tiny frame can muster. But that is it for Comedy Central. Let's talk about a different network. So, TBS. As we all know, TBS is known for hilarious comedy. No, it's not. But but I'm willing to give them a chance because they rescued from the garbage heap of cancellation one of my favorite unsung heroes of sitcom land over the past couple of years, and that is Cougar Town, which ran for three seasons on ABC. Now you're probably watching this right now and you're thinking, Cougar Town, seriously? Seriously! It was created and run by Bill Lawrence, uh, who brought Scrubs to prominence, and if you were at all a fan of Scrubs' absurdist take on an ensemble comedy, Cougar Town's gonna be up your alley. I know it doesn't seem like it, and they're very aware of what people think about them based on their name. Every title sequence has a different joke. Not unlike Bart Simpson writing on the chalkboard, but this one is a different joke about, seriously, we, we called ourselves Cougar Town and we're not about cougars at all. Anyway, it is about a group of friends in their 30s and 40s. Great cast, Courtney Cox, Busy Phillips, a bunch of people who you will recognize even if you might not know their names. And after three seasons, they've developed a fantastic chemistry, ton of laugh out loud moments, really, really good show. And it is back on TBS for its fourth season. So hopefully this is not going to be like when Different Strokes moved to ABC or when Scrubs moved to ABC because something is going from ABC somewhere else. So I'm hoping that there's going to be an uptick in quality. But anyway, that is on Tuesday night, so that is something to look forward to. That's Cougar Town. But let's talk about uh, Adult Swim. Adult Swim. Of course, manufacturer of all things 15 minutes long. They've had somewhat uneven quality in my esteem over the past few years, but one of the bright spots has been Children's Hospital, which is Rob Corddry uh, and David Wayne and, and a bunch of other kind of comedy heavyweights take on the medical drama. If you watch Children's Hospital, and I hope that you do, you might be familiar with a news show set within that universe called News Readers. And News Readers, I don't know why I keep saying it like that, News Readers has gotten a spinoff. It is its own show starting Wednesday night at midnight or Thursday morning at midnight, depending on how much of a temporal stickler you are. It is the, the same comedy DNA, the same pedigree as the team behind Children's Hospital, and its writing staff is Crazy Town. Really, really strong comedy writers in this one. Um, and there's just a lot to look forward to. It, is, it takes the hospital drama and it turns it into the drama of running an investigative news show with the deadpan uh, anchor and the ridiculous effery that happens off camera and all the politics and things. Uh, a lot to look forward to there. So it might be a DVR unless you are young enough that you can stay up that late and still get up as early as the rest of us humans do. 
How old have I gotten all of a sudden? I'm hitching an onion to my belt if I'm complaining about staying up until midnight. I'm getting too old for this. I'm exactly the right age for this. Anyway, that's it for the first week in January. We'll be back next week when there's more offerings on the table. It's not just going to be TV, though. There's going to be TV, too, because as I told you, TV is my second best friend behind Chewbacca. Anyway, we will see you next week. But until then, inspirational catchphrase here.